Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silver and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host, Lee Silver. Hey, Lee. What do you have on your to-do list today? <laughs> That's funny you should ask. <laughs> I drew a picture of you because <laughs> I knew we'd be, you know, getting together to do this. So I, I that's like the highlight of my day. And I, I'm not saying it's a good picture. <laughs> it did take me a lot of time. It's like John Lennon's little scribble things that sold for millions of dollars. It's not detailed. But anyway, I, I like to. I like to change up my to-do list. Sometimes I'll turn the paper sideways. Sometimes I'll do it digitally. Sometimes I'll make it into a game. Sometimes I'll draw pictures. But uh, I believe the reason for to-do lists are threefold. One, it gets it out of your brain. So you kind of can relax a little. Okay, it's safe. It's on my to-do list. Two, my wife will sometimes go shopping and then she'll come home and I'll say, oh, do you remember to get the such and such? And she'll, oh. And nine times out of 10, it's because it wasn't on the list. And so mm. I think... We forget to do things because they're not on the list. And third, it gives our day structure. Otherwise, it's just like being in Las Vegas. Like, it's just like, whoa, there's no time. It's just floating around, pulling <laughs> handles and throwing dice. But um, so for me, the to-do list is the number, well, the clock. And then the to-do list is the number one tool for efficiency, in my opinion. I like it. And one of the things I like that you just brought up is that you change up your to-do list because there is no one size that fits all when it comes to to do, to do I can't even say to to do lists. Uh, making them the most efficient you can for your needs is is right up there with the the accountability, the efficiency. Sometimes you know I'll make a list. The night before of all my things I need to get done. Sometimes I'll just grab a post-it note in the morning and I will list three to five things that have to be done by the end of the day. And I won't list the parts that go into it. I'll just say, this has to be done. This has to be done. This has to be done. And that's my to-do list. And I just will look at that and I will figure out, fill in the things that have to happen to make those outcomes be done by the end of the day. And that that's it. My to-do list is a three by three post-it note. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I do it by geography, meaning I have a lot of places I need to drive and, and go to. And just to be efficient, you know, I lay them out in the order that they should be done. Um, I do like sometimes using the, I'm a paper guy. So I, you know, I'll take the to-do list with me and I get to physically check off the thing with a pen or a pencil. But I also think that digitally, uh, the digital to-do lists are great because it'll add it to your calendar. It'll give you a reminder. Um, it's it's much easier to make a change. Maybe decide, you know, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to get all this done. So you can move some stuff to the next day. But whatever, to your point, whatever works best for you that keeps what you need to do in the forefront of your mind, organizes your day pushes you to do a little more than you think you can is a good thing. Absolutely. And I think it comes back to an episode, a couple episodes ago, where we talked on return on investment, paying attention to the things you're doing. Are some of the things you put on your, your list just things, little things that you could easily have someone else do or do some other time? Are they the things that are really going to move you forward? And you could group them on your to-do list. Here's the very important things. Here's the lesser important. And these are the things that if I don't get to, you know what? No one starves and we still have clothes on. I, I couldn't agree more. I, well, maybe I, maybe I don't agree. I'm not sure. You tell me if I'm with you on this, but <laughs> I, I think I'd like to have a few easy tasks on my list to, to start the day. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. I'm moving. I'm, I'm warmed up. And to end the day, on a high note, I like a lot of easy tasks to finish. And I look forward to some of those things at the end of the day that are two minutes or less to do, but I can just bang them out and check, 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 check. And it's just like, ah, oh, I'm a winner. But in the middle somewhere of that day is the most important thing that must get done. For me anyway, when I say middle, it's more, you know, morning, sometime before noon is my goal. If I don't get it done by noon, it's a struggle to, to get that thing done. So my to do list is usually based on time, but sometimes it's based on importance. Sometimes based on, like I said, geography. But whatever, any, any to do list is better than no to do list. And people that wander around and go through the day without 
any list. I, I don't know how they, how they ever <laughs> get their things done. Because if you don't have a to-do list, someone's going to make you do stuff on their to-do list. Am I right? That's true. That's true. And I would throw another type of to-do list in, and that is based on your energy level. Mm. Planning out what needs to get done and when you'll do it based on, hey, you know, in the morning, I'm super creative and I've got lots of energy. And these are the high intensity items I should be taking care of during that time. And then in the afternoon, not so energetic. And here are the things that don't require a lot of energy that need to get done. And though I can do those perfectly during that time. So organizing your, your tasks and your time based on your energy level is another way you can do things. I mean, Leonardo da Vinci made to-do lists and he would write down, get groceries. You think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and he, he was ambidextrous. So he would be sculpting or carving up a body or <laughs> inventing the snorkel or whatever he was doing with his right hand. With his left hand, he was making the to-do list of things he needed to do. Isn't that, that's incredible, right? So if it's good enough for Leonardo, it's good enough for Lee. That's what I say. <laughs> I have nothing I could possibly <laughs> add to that. That's hysterical. Yeah, I'm like, make... he's carving, he's carving, you know, <laughs> he's carving the statue of David and he's writing down on the other hand, you know, get cold cuts. You know? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Somehow, pretty much. That's a little revision of a revisionist history. Not really. I actually <laughs> looked it up. It's a fact. Uh. Cold cuts, hot dog buns. So look at your to do list. <laughs> have one, but realize that the, it, customize it the way that works perfectly for you. Whether it's by the time of day, by the task, whether you draw pictures on your to do list. It doesn't matter, but have a to-do list to structure your day so you can get more done. In the meantime, be sure and subscribe, like, and review, and be back for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show. <laughs>